I remember satisfying my night munchies with moon pies. Now I'm satisfied with counting feast days with moon skies. Guys that rise from ashes out of pure fire. Entire nation full of black gods having power in a black messiah. Christ, my God, ain't he the nicest? Slaughtered Egypt and ISIS. That lamb became our sacrifices. Gave us the bread of life. Andy became the manna. Taught us to cut with the word of God like a barber, no Hannah. I never knew. Homer is against God's laws. Fornicator is against God's laws. Y'all should not steal. We're not supposed to be a liar. That's against God's laws. But in our community, that's not what we do all day. We lied to one another. We went in to kill one another, right? But God is calling us to repent and be converted. The only thing that can allow me to take that gun away from you, that's the God's law. Homer is against God's laws. Fornicator is against God's laws. Y'all should not steal. That's what we're not supposed to be a liar. That's against God's laws. But in our community, that's not what we do all day. We lied to one another. We went in to kill one another, right? But God is calling us to repent and be converted. The only thing that can allow me to take that gun away from you, that's the God's law. Y'all should not steal. That's what we're not supposed to be a liar. That's against God's laws. But in our now, what was yesterday? What was yesterday? What, Thursday? What was Thursday? Thanksgiving. Y'all celebrate Thanksgiving? Okay, now, can you give me some history on Thanksgiving? Huh? No? No? What about you? You got any history on Thanksgiving? Huh? Oh, the pilgrims came over and what happened? Huh? They slaughtered the Indians. So ask me, let me let me ask you this. Why would we celebrate the death and genocide of our own people? You know? No? No answer? You know? Okay, good, good, good. Hey, come a little closer. What's your name, bro? Jay? And what's your name, bro? DJ? Y'all Christian? Okay, so now he showed you the description of Christ, right? You saw it was a black man, right? Y'all believe that? Y'all accept that? Okay. Now, you, have you been taught that prior to him teaching you that? Or this is the first time you're hearing about his true color? Okay. So the color of Christ, you good, you understand that. Now, what about his doctrine? What is the doctrine that you know of Christ? What does he believe, what does he teach from your understanding that you have? Love your neighbor, okay. What else? Does he, does he, does he confirm that you can celebrate Thanksgiving? You don't know? Okay, good. Give me uh, give me Isaiah 60, uh, true. Give me the truth. Isaiah 55. I'm going to show you according to the Bible that that is sin celebrating Thanksgiving. You understand right. that? Right. Now, I'm going to show everybody out here, according to the Bible, celebrating the holidays that were given to you by your oppressor is sin according to the Bible. That's right. Thanksgiving is a white supremacy holiday. Oh. No black man, black woman, Hispanic man, or Hispanic woman should ever celebrate Thanksgiving That's according right. to the Bible. That's right. When you do that, you give praise to white Jesus. Right. Read that. Isaiah chapter 65 and verse 11. Uh -huh. But he are they that forsake the Lord. That what? That forsake the Lord. The most I said, when you celebrate Thanksgiving, you are forsaking the Lord. Read. That forget my holy mountain. That what? That forget my holy mountain. Read. That prepare a table. That do what? What do you do on Thanksgiving? What do you do on Thanksgiving? What's the tradition that we do the last Thursday of every November? What's the tradition? You prepare food, right? You put it on the dinner table. What do you what do you eat? Turkey, stuffing, cranberry, all these different things. What scripture can I go to for, for, for me to get those instructions? I mean, it got to be instructions out of the Bible because we all sit there, we pray to God, and we say thank you for the food on the table. That we, where's the instructions? Do y'all know what the instructions are? It ain't in there. Keep reading. That prepare a table uh -huh. for that truth and that furnish the drink offering uh -huh. unto that number. Because guess what? We're worshiping those that murdered our own forefathers and foremothers. Y'all understand? Now give me that Isaiah 30 where it says uh, they talk. They taught of men. Precept of men. Isaiah 28 or 29. I want the precept of men. Now look, I'm going to show y'all where we get that understanding of celebrating Thanksgiving. Y'all understand? Listen good. The white man taught us Thanksgiving. Y'all understand? The white man taught you Sunday uh, church. The white man taught you, guess what? Christmas. Y'all celebrate Christmas? No. You celebrate? No? You say no. You say yes. You do? Okay, good. 
Where's December 25th in the Bible? It ain't in there. So how is it how is it ordained as the highest Christian holiday and it's nowhere in the Bible? You gotta question and ask yourself, what am I really worshiping? What am I following? December 25th ain't in there. Read that. Isaiah chapter 29 and verse 13. Wherefore the Lord said, For as much as this people draw near me with their mouth and with their lips do honor me, but have removed their heart far from me. They have done what? Removed their heart far from me. And their fear toward me is taught by the precept of men. Who is that fear taught by? The precept of men. So everything that we do here in modern day America. Right. It was taught to us by the precept of men. Bring it out. Bro. Christmas was given to you by your oppressors. Right. You would never read December 25th in the Bible. Right. You would never read on the last Thursday of every November to have a feast day unto the Lord. Yeah. You right. won't find that in the Bible, brother. Come on, let me let me let me deal, let me deal with you real quick. Because what I'm out here to show you is that the things that we follow, the traditions that we follow, they are not of God. That's right. We are worshiping another God. Give me that uh, Corinthians about um, idols. Uh, 10. Give me uh, 1 Corinthians 10 and verse 21. I think it is. Hey, brother, how you doing, bro? What's your name, big dog? Tim. Tim? Let me holler at you, Tim. Hey, who? who? Where you, you meet? You got a meeting with Jim? Your girlfriend? Oh, what does God say about girlfriends? You know? Yeah. Uh, uh, good, good, good. Hey, give me a second. Give me, give me, give me two seconds. Uh, well, look. According to the Bible, according to the Bible, you gotta marry. You gotta marry that sister. Right. Ain't no boyfriends or girlfriends on the Bible. I got to get them. All right, all right. You better be, you better be proposing tonight. And if you ain't, God gonna judge you. Understand that? You got that? Read that. First Corinthians chapter ten and verse twenty-one. Uh -huh. You cannot drink the cup of the Lord. You cannot do what? Drink the cup of the Lord. You cannot drink of the cup of the Lord. Read. Let's well, start up. I want you to start up. Start in verse uh, nineteen. There we go. Verse nineteen. Uh -huh. What say I then? Uh -huh. That the idol is anything, Read. or that which is offered in sacrifice to idols uh -huh. is anything. Uh -huh. But I say that the things with the Gentiles sacrifice. The which the Gentiles sacrifice to. As I showed you, Thanksgiving is nowhere in the Bible. Right. Christmas is nowhere in the Bible. Right. New Year's Day is not in the Bible. That's right. Guess what? The Bayou Classic is not in the Bible. Right. The things that you do here in America, it was taught to you by your oppressor. Right. It was given to you, and you eat it up as if God gave it to you. Right. Read. They sacrifice to devils. They do what? Sacrifice to devils. Sis, sister, how you doing? They sacrifice to devils, read. And not to God. And what? And not to God. And not to God. How y'all doing, sister? Y'all believe in Jesus Christ? No? Every day? Let me, can, can I get a minute with you? I want to discuss Christ out here. Read, was that it on that? Yes, sir. Read. And I would not that ye should have fellowship with devils. With what? With devils. So God is trying to tell us something. The longer we are falling into the fashions of this world, we are falling further and further away from Jesus Christ. Right. He says that you are going into the way of the devil. Now, we're going to deal with Christmas. A lot of people out here are going to celebrate Christmas in a month. Right. On December the 25th. It's the largest day in the whole earth. And everybody thinks that a white baby Jesus will be celebrated on that day. Bring it out. But you will never read about December 25th in the Bible. That's right. right. Who we got here? He celebrate Christmas. He celebrate Christmas. How we doing, young man? Let me holler at you real quick. I see you got the Fortnite shirt on. You play a little Fortnite? Huh? Now, uh, you say you celebrate Christmas, right? Okay, you're a Christian? You believe in Christ? Your, your family take you to church? No? You don't go to church, but you celebrate Christmas. You see how that's backwards? Do you believe in Christ? Okay, you believe in Christ, don't go to church, but you celebrate Christmas. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. You're a child, so you're only going to do what you told. How old are you, brother? 16. Uh, now, we're going to go into the Bible, and I'm going to show you the traditions of Christmas in the Scriptures, all right? 
Give me Jeremiah 10. Jeremiah chapter 10 and verse 1. Say ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Thus saith the Lord. So, what we're reading, it says, Hear this word, O house of Israel. According to the Bible, how y'all doing? According to the Bible, we come from the nation of Israel. That's right. From the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. Right. Judah, Benjamin, Levi. Are y'all y'all so-called African Americans? So-called African Americans? Yes, no. Okay. How you looking at me crazy, sis? You said it's so powerful. There you go. Good, good. So, you're an, you're an African American? I am. Okay, good. Now, the reason why I say so called, you believe in the Bible? Have you ever seen African American in scripture? No. So, I say so called because that's what the white man gave you. You understand? Now, when you actually go into your heritage, into your culture, you'll find yourself being named Israel. And Jew, you right. understand? Yeah. Now, I'm gonna continue. Now listen. Now we're gonna. I was breaking down the scripture to him going into Christmas. You understand? Because when you read the Bible as a Christian, what do, what, do, what should our faith be based upon? What should we build? How do we how do we get closer to Christ, closer to God? What should it be? What should it be uh, measured by? What can we go to learn about Christ? Church. Church. Okay. And what should they read to you in the church? The Bible. That's the key part, sis. Right. The Bible is how we should learn about Christ. That's right. right. So, for example, if somebody was to say celebrate Christmas, they should have a scripture instructing me to do so, right? right. Now, let's see what the Bible says. Read. Jeremiah chapter 10 and verse 2. Uh -huh. Thus saith the Lord, uh -huh. learn not the way of the heathen. So the Bible says to learn not the way of the heathen. You heard that? You heard that? You heard that? Now listen to what it says next. Read. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. Uh -huh. For the heathen are dismayed at them. Read. For the customs of the people are vain. So now he's about to list what not to do that the heathen do. Right. He says that their customs, they are vain, meaning of no value. Listen good. For what cutteth a tree out of the forest? Hold on. What's the custom that they do? For what cutteth a tree out of the forest? One cuts a tree out of a forest. Now y'all think very hard. When do we do that tradition of coaching? Huh? On Christmas. Read. The work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. Read. They deck it with silver and with gold. Hold on, what do they do? They deck it with silver and with gold. Now once you cut that tree out of the forest, what do you do when you get it home, sis? You put what? You put silver and gold on the tree. You following your man in front of me? You follow? Oh. Read. They fasten it with nails and with hammers uh -huh. that it moves not. So when you bring it in the house, you put the nails and the hammers in it so it stands straight up, right? Read. They are upright as the palm tree, uh -huh. but speak not. Read. They must needs be born uh -huh. because they cannot go. Be not afraid of them. Do what? Be not afraid of them, uh -huh. for they cannot do evil. Neither also is it in them to do good. Now, jump up to verse 2 again. Now, now, from what we just read, what what uh, custom did that just describe? The Christmas tree, right? Listen to what it said about that custom. Verse 2. Thus saith the Lord, uh -huh. learn not. Do what? Learn not. Do what? Learn not. What did the Bible say about that custom? It says learn not. It says learn not. So it says, do not bring that tree into your house. Right. Y'all read that, right? Now this is my question for you. The Bible's saying one thing, but the whole world is saying jingle bells, jingle bells. Right. Red nose to red nose, uh, reindeer. Right. Why is everybody in the world telling us that we should be celebrating a holiday that the Bible says don't follow? Do y'all know? Do you know? Do you know? Sis, do you know? Why is the Bible telling us not to celebrate Christmas, but the whole world telling us that's different? Do you know why? Yeah, you're right. They don't believe in that. Because guess what? According to the word of God, those people do not know Christ. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. 
Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.